look into open question versus specific question now. Very, very unlikely you are going to get an open question. Now, what is an open question is that? Now, for example, question number one, classification and management of ankle fracture. This is an open question for 10 marks. You don't know how much marks is for classification, how much marks is for management. You don't know. Now, this type of question is not asked in current DNB for sure. Previously, it used to be this way, but now they are going to specify each question is how much mark and within that also what you are supposed to answer. Okay. For example, what will be asked now is classify ankle fracture. Same question you see how differently it has been asked over the years. Okay. Classify the ankle system in bracket, give any one system because there are so many classification systems, give any one system. So you are free to write whichever system you feel you are good at. Okay. Doesn't matter. That need not be the best. Now, for example, th there need not be log answers. If you think you are good at AO, you can write AO. If you think there is you, you want to write Weber system, you can write Weber system. No, no, whatsoever. Because the, you have been asked to write any one system. Okay. And four marks. Now, mind you, you may know two, three, four systems here. Okay. If you're a good, um, and, and, you, and you feel that, okay, I will write two or three different systems and I will try to impress the examiner, only wasting your time. The first one, whatever written is, is going to be corrected, obviously. Right. So there's no point in trying to impress the examiner this way by trying to show off how much you know. You have been asked to write one system, you write one system. That's it. And whatever first you write is what is going to be considered for four marks. The next question is for six marks. How will you manage supination external rotation injury? Again, a very, very, very specific question. Again, management includes investigation and treatment. You're going to get X-rays, you're going to get CT scans. You um, uh, Initially, you may require uh, to put on a uh, spanning external fixator. And once you do that, depending on what fractures he has, so for lateral medulla fractures, posterior medulla fractures, medial medulla fractures, and anterior medulla fractures, you're going to divide your answer into that and write. Again, a flow chart makes things much easier. So look into, again, open or specific. Most likely they are specific. Very unlikely you are going to get an open question. But if you get, then you need to be prepared for that also. But more, more often than not, I think uh, we are, uh, the, the, the board is not going to go back. It is only going to go forward. So you're not going to get any open questions. Okay.